Hello everyone and welcome back. I am doing another Pokemon Go story today. I am talking about the balance changes for July 29th. And I'm also going to be talking about the nest spawn changes and how Niantac, Niantac, whatever you want to call it, uh, is going to kind of handle nest from now on. So first I guess I'm going to go into the move changes. There's a pretty much comprehensive attack list right here for nerfed moves and buff moves. Some of them are quick moves, some of them are not quick moves. The most notable is going to be Water Gun right here. Water Gun went from 10 damage to 6 damage and what this means is Vaporeon kind of got nerfed really hard because Vaporeon was a huge powerhouse, was holding down gems way too, hell, way too well and Vaporeon just kind of held down gyms too good. Um, bug Bite, getting a 1 damage nerf, sure, whatever, I can see that, it was kind of quick. Body Slam, yes, please, Snorlax was too good. Aqua Tail, I don't kind of get, because it already wasn't like super good. If you disagree with me, you can comment down below. Discharge, also don't kind of get, it wasn't really super good. Uh, Dragon Claw, sure. Frost Breath, sure. Lick from 10 to 5, once again, not really that big of a deal. Uh, Metal Claw, no, it didn't really need it. Mud Shot, sure. Poison Jab, sure. Pound, why nerf Pound? What are these one point nerfs? What are they really going to accomplish? Psycho Cut, yes, we really needed this to happen. Uh, nerfing the damage on Scratch was kind of ridiculous. Uh, Vine Whip, sure. Wing Attack, sure. Zen Headbutt, it really needed to happen. It was just annihilating fighting Pokemon, especially if people had uh, Snorlaxes. Uh, so buffed moves. Aerial Ace being buffed, I think we really kind of need this. It also makes Pidgeot kind of less terrible. Same for Air Cutter, people with Gold Bats that have Air Cutter, Pidgeots that have Air Cutter, it makes them a little bit more useful. Aqua Jet is a huge buff, and we really needed this. Ancient Power, slight buff. Blizzard, what I really love about Blizzard, going from 60 to 100, it kind of makes Ice types, like, actually useful, and I think it's something we needed, because in the games, Blizzard is really strong, and... I just, I kind of like the love for Blizzard here. Maybe I'll hate it when it gets used against me a ton, but right now, I'm happy for it. Uh, Bubble, 15 to 20, awesome. Bug Buzz, 50 to 75, Aw awesome. My Venomoth is kind of less useless now. Uh, Bulldoze, 30 to 35, awesome. Brine, Shore, whatever. Confusion, whatever. Cross Chop whatever these small damage increases are kind of eh. um, the small damage increases on the quick charge moves I do like because it makes them kind of more useful so cross poison a little bit better dazzling gleam sure dig sure well, actually dig dig is gonna kind of be a lot more useful being a, a 75 sorry a 73 bar move is gonna be really kind of amazing um, draining kiss going up for such a small charge bar move. I don't know how impactful it's going to be. I don't see too many fairy types. I don't see too many dragonites holding down gems right now. At least not where I'm at. It's mainly Vaporeons, which just got the nerf. So hey, uh, drill pack, meh, drill run, meh. Earthquake going from sixty to a hundred charged is. Kind of going to make uh, Earthquake Snorlaxes pretty broken, and I'm going to enjoy this because I have one. Um, Fire Blast going from 60 to 100. I really like this. It kind of makes my Flareon not poop. Uh, Fire Fang, eh. Fire Punch and Flame Wheel, I kind of can glaze over. Same with Flash Cannon, same with Flamethrower, Gunk Shot. Heat Wave, once again, 60 to 80, showing a lot of love for moves that I kind of felt were underwhelming for having to be fully charged for Pokemon like Flareon, so I kind of really like the balance change there. Hurricane uh, being flying and 60 AD is really cool. Um, 
Hydro Pump going to 90, I think, kind of puts some of the damage back for Vaporeon, and at least for Hydro Pump Vaporeons. And I kind of feel is a bit more rewarding for the charge. It's kind of where it should have been at. Hyper Beam being at 120 is where it should have been at in the first place. I was kind of pissed when it only did 70. Ice Shard going from 10 to 15 I think is more fair because I honestly kind of felt that it was underwhelming on Pokemon like Lapras when it was a very slow attack. Uh, Icy Wind going from 15 to 25, I'm okay with that. Leaf Blade, the extra damage, I guess I'm okay with that. Low Sweep, 25 to 30, sure. Magna Bomb, sure. Mega Horn, I think the damage buff was really needed. I think Bug-type Pokemon have not had enough love in this game and have been way too underwhelming. Moonblast, yes, Moonblast needed a damage buff. It is a moon. It is a fucking moon crashing into the enemy Pokemon. It needs to do more than 60. Mud Bomb, yep, Mud Slap. 6 to 15, I don't know what caused this, but thank you for making a move less pathetic. Uh, Ominous Wind, the extra 5 damage, I'll take it. I don't really know what else to say about that. Play rough, extra 5 damage, I'll take it. Petal Blizzard, I, I'm personally happy with the damage buff. Power Whip, I'm personally happy with the damage buff. I feel like uh, Grass-type Pokemon have been really glazed over except for Executor because he's just kind of he's just kind of really broken and even with the uh, with all the move changes he's kind of unaffected I mean the only move change that really affects him is Solar Beam and Seed Bomb and they're both buff so Executor is probably going to kind of slide up in terms of effectiveness and power at least in my opinion it'll be, remain to be seen Psychic even so he got a small damage buff there he pretty much gets nothing but buffs Rock Smash getting a 10 damage buff. We kind of needed that. Everything getting a damage buff is... I'm pretty happy with because, like, there are way too many tanky Pokemon. And Thunder going up to 100. Thank you. That really just so much better. Thunderbolt going up to 55. Whatever. I'll take it. Twister, Water Pulse, Wrap. I'll take it. X Scissor. I'll take it. So... Uh, nest changes and a lot of them have been a lot of them have been confirmed through Reddit. Um, nest changes basically if you had your old number one spawn be Bulbasaur, it's still going to be Bulbasaur. If it was a Charmander, it's going to be Bulbasaur. If it was a Squirtle, it's going to be Charmander. So nests are kind of cycling. Uh, Spar Spiro's unknown. We don't really know what it is yet. Ekans is now Spiro. Pikachu is now Ekans, Sandshrew is now Pikachu, Nidoran is going to be Sandshrew or Pikachu, Nidoran male is going to be Nidoran female, which, great, I can get a Nido Queen now, my Rosie O'Donnell can be evolved, Clefairy is now going to be Nidoran male, Volpix is now going to be Clefairy or Nidoran male, Jigglypuff, Volpix or Clefairy, Oddish is now Jigglypuff, Paris is now Oddish or Jigglypuff, uh, Venonat is now Oddish, Daylight is now Paris. Um, I'm not going to go over the whole list because it's a lot, but I am going to put the link to this article in the description so you guys can check it out for yourself. And if you like me doing these Pokemon Go uh, news articles or just talking about Pokemon Go, please let me know below and I'll keep doing them and I will see you guys in the next video.